Hey everyone, it's Sophia from Iridescent Studies and today I'm doing a what's in my pencil case video. My pencil case is a Lee Hit Lab Smart Fit Act Act Wide Pencil Case. It has two zippers and it has pockets on the inside. When you open it, it opens to fold back and acts like a tray. First up are my bullet journal colors of the month. I usually use four colors in my bullet journal each month and I change them out accordingly. Next up is my Sakura Pigma Micron pen with the plastic nib and you can see where I got this in my stationery haul video. So far it's been great in my bullet journal and I really like the feel of this pen. For the last of my bullet journal supplies, I have a small ruler and a white Sakura jelly roll pen. Next up we have my Apple Pencil and I have a grip on there and I'll link the grip in the description below. Next up is my pencil which is the Pentel Twist Erase. And I really like this one because I've used it since freshman year, the grip is good, it lasts a long time, and you can press for more lead at the bottom of the pencil rather than the top so you don't really have to move your hand as much. Papermate pen body was kind of worn out, so I decided to switch to using this Zebra Sarasa clip pen I also got for my stationery haul video. And I really like the grip on this pencil. It's great and it fits my Pentel Energel needle tip refills quite well. <music> pronunciations but next up we have the Tombow hard and soft Fudenosuke brush tip pens and I really like these for different occasions sometimes I need a thicker 
title so I use the soft tip and vice versa when I need a thinner title I use the hard tip. can probably tell purple is one of my favorite colors so I had to have an accent pen for it of course this is the Pentel Energel 0.5 needle tip in purple and I really like the color and the ink which makes it great for annotations mono correction tape in purple of course to correct my mistakes in pen one great thing about this is that you can actually turn the dial in the middle back to put the white out back in place if it starts coming out too much which is kind of nice because it doesn't get ruined if the string of white out comes out too much next up is my high polymer eraser I really like these they erase well and next we have my my liners I don't keep all of my mild liners in my pencil case, just enough for my mood trackers and a couple extra. My liners have a chisel tip and a marker tip which make them great to use in both schoolwork and art. close up for you guys to see. Next up we have my set of Muji cap pens.
I also carry two Muji retractable pens. One is in the old design, which is this one I'm showing right now, the red purple, and the purple color is in the new design. The ink is fairly good, and I like how smooth it is, but honestly, I think that this is pretty similar to a Zebra Sarasa pen. Lastly, we have my Pilot Juice Gold Pen in 0.5, and I like the ink quality for this one, but I like to favor the Muji Retractable Pen and the Zebra Sarasa Pen. a close-up of the pen colors. Now I'm going to show you where I keep the smaller items in my pencil case. So I keep my whiteout and my eraser on one side and on the other side I keep my lip balm. I think I'm starting to realize I carry too many pens, but I can't believe that this all fits in one small pencil case. So 
So I picked this pencil case because I could store a lot of pens in there. And in total, I have 36 pens plus other miscellaneous items. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this.